Hello, my name is Alexander Nichols. I am going to be a part of Middlebury's class of 2025, and I'm going to be studying physics. Uh, here's my essay to show you guys how I got in. And just a little heads up, my essay is going to be referencing the map back there. So I use that map as a tool to express myself throughout the uh, essay. So you will be able to see that. The map across my bed seemed to shine. The 1885 cartographic masterpiece of Edward Stanford displaying the holdings between Constantinia and the Ottoman Empire to Calcutta of the British Raj. With a childhood rife with history game franchises Total War and Paradox, YouTube channel Armchair Historian, and Thomas Asperidge narrative The Crusades, the never-ending source of new stories sparked my imaginative mind. Through the ink, I traveled the world of kingdoms and republics, the map is the caretaker of my development. When facing crossroads, history leads my charge. On the outskirts of Constantinia, I saw Mehmed II observing the seemingly impenetrable Theodosian walls. I admire Mehmed because, when centuries of previous emirs failed, the young Ottoman rulers still fought. If Mehmed had the drive to capture Constantinia, then I could topple my own Theodosian walls. By placing myself by Mehmed and fighting the battle that I have fought many times before, I siege down the walls of my nutrition, soccer, and conditioning to conquer my 6 minute mile. What I failed to do in 8th grade in the next summer, I conquered freshman year. 5 minutes, 40 seconds. I was Mehmed my freshman year, and I remembered the Sultan's lesson around every lap of the track. Down the map to the Tigris River, I saw the Mesopotamian stronghold Mosul, where nearby Alexander the Great dealt a crushing defeat to Achaemenid Emperor Darius III at the Battle of Guagamela. My namesake was outnumbered more than two to one, and instead of fighting a conventional fight, used a different weapon, cavalry, to flank the Persians and rout their massive force. I was the Alexander of old, outnumbered by my thoughts and emotions on the plains of Guagamela. Poetry served as my cavalry. When therapy and ignoring the problem didn't solve my depression, I used the unconventional approach, metaphors, prose, and personification. By writing my lines and stanzas, I'm outmaneuvering my enemy and fighting from the inside out. Like Alexander the Great, I'm behind enemy lines. As I readied my science Olympiad troops for battle, the lessons from an Afghan chessboard inspired my leadership approach. The 19th century British crown and Russian Tsar vied for control of the country, however neither side wanted war. The power struggle was handled indirectly, force wasn't always the answer. I played the Russian and British game as team captain of Science Olympiad by not starting conflict in the classroom. Instead, I made team announcements motivating the idle to work. Without shaming the procrastinators, I indirectly addressed the issue and nudged my peers to prepare. The leadership experience paralleled the great game. I learned to handle my Olympiad team like the chess match on the Afghan board. Standing over my pool, I found myself fighting like the Mughal Empire's Akbar once did. On my lifeguarding shift, a child strayed from the parents and slipped under the water. When I couldn't crack under pressure, couldn't lose the battle of the pool, I had to be Akbar. He made the quick decision to assault the retreating Bengali troops outside Calcutta with the ferocity that won him the Bengal Empire. Akbar didn't hesitate, and I couldn't either. With my mind honed in, I dove into the pool and grabbed the child before he went unconscious. Akbar lit my path forward, and with my map, I saved the guest. Dropping my eyes, I saw the lessons of history written across the parchment. The map was a story of the past, a past written by kings and conquerors, the world changers and the legacy builders, accomplishers I hope to be. This map wasn't a lifeless plane of letters and dots, but rather a guide of how I might act, of how I should think. When facing a new problem, I find a new story on my map, a story to push myself forward, to mold my character into one that builds a legacy. So that was my common app essay, and uh, I got an early decision to Middlebury with it. So once again, thank you for watching, and I hope this helped.